Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the concept of analytical learning. Just introduction to analytical learning. Uh, we are going to see in this video, okay? So this is going to be a very short video, a very, uh, you know, simple video. Don't worry, okay? So first, before understanding what analytical learning is, let us learn, revise what inductive learning is. We have already learned about inductive learning, right? So first, let us revise what it is. Inductive learning is basically, it is based on patterns, okay? So yeah, before that, I have to tell you something. And if you are having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know in the comment section along with your exam date and your college names so that I try to make videos by then and also according to your college syllabus. So we done. So yeah, inductive learning is based on the pattern, whereas analytical learning is not based on pattern, it is based on facts. Okay. And in case of inductive learning, if there is any missing data, it will assume and it will do the classification. Suppose there is any missing data or there is any error in the data it will assume for itself or it will correct for itself and it will be doing the classification okay and what are the examples you have for inductive learning decision tree neural networks all these will come under inductive learning okay done and yeah in case of inductive learning we gave only training example so what else we can, we will be giving apart from training example for a machine to learn you can get a doubt that you will be you know it will be clear to you when you are learning about the analytical learning okay done now what about analytical learning it will also use a prior knowledge and it will it does in deductive reasoning inductive you there you do the process of induction induction and deduction both are all reverse to each other right you know that right so it will use the prior knowledge and it does the deductive reasoning deductive reasoning is nothing but it will reason based on the facts not based on the patterns from patterns you will not derive the uh, you know you will not uh, derive the concepts in analytical learning you will be doing that from the facts you will be doing that with the help of facts okay done so this is about the analytical learning and what do you mean by using the prior knowledge using prior knowledge is nothing but the past experiences previous data previous experiences so uh, previously how this kind of problem was overcome like that it will be seeing the previous experiences rather than the current and the future okay so this is about the analytical learning and here this analytical learning is also called as explanation based learning why because along with the training example we will also give the explanation of that example okay so previously i said in inductive learning we will be giving only training example but here in the analytical learning we will be giving the training example plus the explanation of that particular example okay so this analytical learning also can be used in case of missing data or redundant data or error data or you can use in that cases as well but what is the difference inductive learning also you can use it but when compared to inductive learning analytical learning is more efficient in this case in which case when there is missing data duplicate data uh, error in data in that case analytical learning is more efficient than inductive learning just because of the fact that it has an explanation as well so whenever data is missing or whenever there is a mistake in data based on the explanation it has it will be doing it more efficiently when compared to inductive based learning because in inductive based learning you don't have any explanation whereas in case of analytical you have the explanation simple logic okay so this is all about this video as i said this is going to be a really very short and yeah i forgot to tell you about the example as well yeah example is chess game so how chess game is related to um you know this analytical learning suppose when you are playing the game of chess you will have some coins right you'll have horse you'll have uh elephant no elephant oh i, I really don't know about chess but you'll have king minister and all right so in chess game training example suppose you're you are designing a machine okay you are designing a game uh, where on, for online chess let us take so instead of chess let us take online chess okay so you are doing some online chess game in that case along with the coin you are giving some coin you are giving um, king you are giving the king and you need to give the explanation also for the king that is what king does how, in how many directions king can move he can move left right up down or he can only move left or he can only move right like that you should give the instructions okay got it that is along with the training example so here what is the training example the king the coin 
uh, not a leaking any coin is a training example then what is the explanation for that what it can do how many and how many directions it can go so those are all the explanations so along with the example you are also giving the explanation in case of analytical learning whereas in case of inductive learning you are not doing that you are giving only the training example got it so this is about the analytical learning i hope this video was useful for you a very short video as i said and in the next videos we'll be continuing about the next topics of analytical learning and thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in the video just let me know in the comment section definitely try to clear it for sure and if you want me to uh, make any other videos or any other topics any other subjects just let me know in the comment section and definitely try to make it for sure and thanks for watching the video till the end